That breaking news is on Hawaii Island. That's where a decades old murder has been solved. Multiple police sources confirm the person responsible for the brutal attack of Dana Ireland on Christmas Eve 1991 has been identified through DNA. Lynn Kawano has the exclusive. Multiple tests in recent months zeroed in on a Hawaiian Paradise Park man. But that man killed himself last week after he was ordered to do a cheek swab. The man's name is not yet being released, but he lived within two miles of the fishing trail where Dana Ireland was found, brutally beaten on Christmas Eve in 1991. She died the next day. Ireland had been raped. Semen from her body, on her clothes, and on other items from the scene, plus more recently, sweat and skin DNA from a T-shirt at the scene, all pointed to one person unknown male number one. That person, a 57-year-old man, would have been 25 at the time of the crime. The Hawaii Innocence Project was crucial in identifying the man. We sent the DNA that existed for unknown male number one to Steve Kramer, who's a person who uh, headed up the capture of the Golden State Killer. Taking that DNA, he was able to go back to records, back to the 1700s here in Hawaii, that led all the way up to this individual suspect. The Hawaii Innocence Project learned in February the lab identified a possible suspect. Police and the FBI started surveillance. The man was seen discarding a fork in public and that fork was sent to the lab for more testing. On July 3rd, results confirmed a match. On July 19th, Hawaii police officers with a search warrant got a cheek swab from the man. Days later, last Tuesday, the man was found dead in his home, an apparent suicide. The next day, the DNA results from the cheek swab returned, showing a positive match. He didn't spend a day in jail. Now, to me, if I know I murdered and raped this girl in this fashion, sent three people to, to be convicted in a prison, two of them in prison for a lengthy amount of time, one died in prison, yeah, if I ever get caught, I'm going to take the easy way out. Three men were wrongfully convicted of Dana Ireland's murder in the late 90s. A judge threw out the convictions for two of them, Albert Ian Schweitzer and Sean Schweitzer. The third man, Frank Pauline, died in prison, serving time for Ireland's murder. A hearing is scheduled for Tuesday to discuss the new developments in the case. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.